what are ender pearls in real life? That's what we're finding out in this video. Ender pearls, one of the handiest tools in Minecraft. They are obtained by killing endermen, by trade, or found in strongholds. Ender pearls were added in the beta versions of Minecraft in pre-release 1.8. They could stack up to 64, but had no real use. They were later given the ability to let players teleport, but then could only stack up to 16. When combined with blaze powder, ender pearls plus blaze powder make eyes of ender. The most important thing to get to the end. But what are ender pearls in real life? To start, let's look at the name, ender pearl, specifically the word pearl. Pearls can come in all sorts of colors, from white to cream to black, silver, pink, and dark green. Ender pearls seem to be dark green, so it's definitely feasible. But to find out what pearls are, let's look at how they're created. Pearls are formed in clams, oysters, or mussels. The reason that mollusks form these pearls is that when a bacterium, pebble, or bug irritates it, it will secrete fluids that cover the pest. More and more layers are built around the annoyance until it is neutralized. So pearls are really beautiful but inescapable prisons for their unfortunate inmates. Back to the ender pearl. Since it's a pearl, it must have been formed in a mollusk. There are only one type of mob in the end that has a tough outer shell and a soft inside. That mob is the shulker. So. If shulkers are actually mollusks, they are either a clam, oyster, or mussel. Tahitian pearls come from the oyster Pinctata margaritifera. Tahitians are found in the Pacific Ocean near the French Polynesian Islands. While we don't know if shulkers are actually Tahitians, I think it's safe to refer to them as oysters. But at least we know that shulkers are mollusks. This means that shulker shells are oyster shells. Yummy. Okay, back to ender pearls. For a pearl to form, a mollusk must be aggravated by a nuisance. The nuisance gets encapsulated and becomes a pearl. This means that the ender pearl was formed by an irritant that had been encapsulated. So, what's inside the ender pearl? Well, a Minecraft fact for you if you throw an ender pearl, there's a 5% chance that an endermite may spawn. This means that endermites are what's troubling the shulker. This would also explain why endermen hate the endermites. The critters mess with shulkers, and maybe they mess with endermen too. We determined that shulkers are the ones who create the enderpearls. Now, you might be wondering, if the shulkers are the ones that actually created the enderpearls, how come they themselves don't drop any? And why do endermen drop them if they didn't even make them themselves? This is just speculation, but maybe the reason why endermen carry pearls is that they're currency. That might sound crazy, but in the real world, we give pearls much value, even though they're just a mollusk's defense mechanism. And there is evidence in Minecraft too. Piglins and villagers both trade enderpearls, and out of all piglin trades, enderpearls seem the oddest. Did the piglin kill endermen to obtain the enderpearls, or did he obtain the enderpearls since they were a currency in the end? This relationship between endermen and shulkers is similar to ants and aphids. If you don't know, ants collect honeydew from aphids in return for protection. It's a win-win for both except for the plants the aphids are leeching off of. Maybe the same thing applies to the end. Enderman farms enderpearls from the shulker, and endermen have the advantage because of their maneuverability, while shulkers are relatively stationary. Okay, next we need to look at the elytra. Elytras are actually a real thing in real life. Elytras are four wings beetles have to protect their hind wings, from potential damage. These ancient beetles must be extinct as there are no beetles in Minecraft. These ancient Minecraft beetles must have been huge, 
but rotted away, only leaving their tough coated elytra. In Minecraft, it seems that all insects and small creatures are dramatically bigger. The most notable exception is a spider and bee. This could definitely be because of the atmosphere, similar to the time 300 million years ago when there was significantly more oxygen in the atmosphere, which led to massive insects. But how did these beetles get to the end in the first place? This is a similar to our previous question, how did shulkers, which we now know are oysters, get into the end as well? I have a feeling that they're connected. Adding on to game theory's Minecraft end theory, when the ancient builders had constructed an end portal and were about to enter the end for their final time, oysters and beetles were able to enter. How and why they were brought to the end, I'll let you decide in the comments. Anyways, since the ancient builders were unable to escape, they slowly evolved into endermen. The beetles couldn't adapt to the environment, and went extinct, leaving a few of their most valuable treasure, their elytra. The ancient builders evolved into endermen, while the oyster evolved into the shulker. The teleportation abilities of the enderpearl come from the end in general. There are magical properties in the end that are related to teleportation. My theory is that the end stone has teleportation and levitation powers. The end stone's properties are absorbed by chorus fruit, similar to how plants absorb minerals from whatever soil they are on. Chorus fruits might be patayas in real life. Patayas are even called dragon fruit, which might relate to the ender dragon. Patayas rely on nocturnal pollinators, perfect for the end, and they have a similar color. The fruit might have gained teleportation abilities from the endstone itself. Endermen ate the coarse fruit and slowly gained teleportation abilities as well, while the shulker oyster obtained teleportation levitation abilities from the end. The shulker's teleportation abilities are transferred to the enderpearl. So what are enderpearls in real life? They are dark green pearls formed from a long descendant of an oyster that was brought over by ancient builders that gained teleportation abilities from the shulkers that produced them. We just covered what four things in real life were in Minecraft. Enderpearls, shulkers, elytra, and chorus fruit. You should definitely subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff. And also, check out what netherrack and endstone are in real life too.